Hello there, you scrub lords, and welcome to a first impressions video of the Matilda Mark II version F96 that we have just received today of as part of the World War II Chronicles event. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at, like I said, this weird Matilda variant uh, that the Soviets put together after receiving quite a few Matildas from the British. And so what did they do to this vehicle? Well, they did pretty much one thing. They got rid of the... Uh, the almost useless two-pounder gun that we see on the regular Matilda, 40, which is a 40 millimeter uh, gun. And then they replaced it with a version of their, not the L11, a version of the KV-1 ZIS-5. So the ZIS-5 gun. Replaced it with a version of this gun. So, what? what's up with this vehicle? Is it is it good? Is it worth it? Uh, I guess we're going to find out today. This is going to be a first impressions video. I have not actually driven this vehicle yet, so I'm going to be doing some live gameplay for once. Yes, I know. Who are you and what have you done with the real miles? Uh, but before we jump into battle, let's take a look at its modifications, specifically its ammunition types. So it looks like a pretty standard 76mm gun loadout. You've got the BR-350A, which is a standard ammunition with 150 grams of HE filler, uh, and about 80 millimeters of penetration. That's pretty good, I mean, especially if you're coming up against, like, Germans and, uh, German Panzer IV F2s and Shermans, it'll penetrate other Matildas at close range, however, you do need to get pretty close in order to effectively destroy those. You've got the BR-350B with the MD-8 fuse, this is just another APHE round, however, this one has much, much greater penetration, about almost 20 millimeters more, but you sacrifice almost half of your explosive, I think actually, or a little over half of your explosive filler, in order to achieve this level of penetration on these rounds. Your highest penetration rounds are the BR-350SP, uh, which is a solid shot armor-piercing ballistic cat shell. And this has just over 100 millimeters of penetration. This is going to be your go-to round for when you come around the corner and you've got like a Churchill Mark III in front of you. This is probably the ammunition that you're going to be using against those if you have the misfortune of running up against one. Or even a, uh, a Churchill gun carrier. Uh, so you've also got shrapnel shells and HE shells. Now frankly, I'd recommend taking the shrapnel shells instead of the HE rounds. The HE rounds are okay, but the shrapnel shells will deliver a lot more, well, shrapnel, to the target when they explode. Uh, also, they have much, much greater quote-unquote penetration, so if you hit something with one of these uh, shrapnel shells like a truck or something like that, or one of the low-tier SPAAs, you're going to do a lot of damage to it. Okay, I think that basically covers it. Actually, you know, let's look at a couple of the other stats. Um, so, reloading rate, 7.9 seconds. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see what the KV-1 has. 7.6 stock. Uh, granted, that's a slightly different gun. Actually, let's change it to the KV-1 ZIS-5. What's the reload rate on here? 7.9, so about the exact, uh, exactly the same, uh, which is somewhat fitting, I guess, because they're the same gun, but the Matilda prob it will probably have a, a little bit longer reload, frankly, uh, IRL, because of the ridiculously small turret they're trying to cram that gun into. Let's see, what's the best reload you can get on this? 6.9, that's pretty respectable. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's not horrible either. It's pretty good all around. Now, we're talking Matilda here, so what's its armor like? Now, initially, when you see this area, you went, you go, oh my god, the front of the Matilda is only 22 millimeters. That's actually not true at all. The lower glacis here is actually 22 millimeters, so keep an eye on that. Uh, machine gun, heavy machine gun rounds can potentially penetrate you through here. However, these areas are not actually part of the main, the main hull. They're basically there as, um, as spacers to store the headlights, and they are storage containers. These are not actually part of the armor uh, of the main vehicle. Basically, there's like a... It's kind of like the BTs almost in a way, where there's kind of like a uh, a horizontal and a vertical sloping on either side here. So this area right here and this area right here is the actual crew, part of the crew compartment that you want to hit. Uh, this area I do not recommend shooting at. You'll probably just bounce. If you're looking for a frontal weak spot uh, to penetrate this vehicle from what I'm just seeing here in the garage, we'll have to see how well it performs in battle. Uh, you can either hit this thing, which is like a which is a driver's port cover which leads right past the driver, and you'll kill the loader, uh, the gunner, and the commander. Or you can pen or you can just aim for this area right here. This area is just a pretty much a perfectly flat 45 millimeter thick plate. And as far as I can tell, there's no other armor behind it. 
So if you've got like over 45 millimeters of penetration on something, uh, especially if you're driving the regular Matilda and you come up against one of these things, let's see what the penetration is on this gun. I think it's okay. Uh, 74 millimeters. Yeah, you can easily punch through the front of the Matilda of the uh, of the Matilda Mark II F96 uh, with the regular Matilda's 40 millimeter gun. So. Keep that in mind, this air, this thing right here isn't going to be a massive weak spot, and I imagine that's probably going to lead to a lot of knocked out gun breaches, not to mention if it's an APAG round, that'll probably just kill the whole tank if you manage to penetrate through there. But again, we'll have to see in battle. So without further ado, I'm going to throw some bushes on this thing, and then let's take it out into the battle. All right, so here we are on large Sinai, or desert Sinai. Oh, interesting. So this is my very first match of the vehicle. I have not played this thing at all, so... Let's go through our ammunition counts. Okay, so take some shrapnel shells. Let's reduce that to about three or four. Uh, we'll take majority of these. Probably take an equal amount of these. And then we'll take a few more of these. Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. Okay. Now, I hold no illusions. This thing is a Matilda. Um, so... Speed is, has never been this thing's strong suit, uh, and in the soft desert, sta desert sand here, and with the narrow tracks on it, I can imagine this thing is going to be quite slow. Also, uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's only two degrees of gun depression on this thing. Um, the Matilda that it's based on actually has the most gun depression in the game, at 20 degrees. Um, and this thing, they lost literally all of it. Um... I guess that's the byproduct of fitting uh, such a large gun into such a small turret. You know what? I think climbing up a hill in a vehicle as slow as this thing is going to be a little bit counterproductive. And that appears to be a flak bus way out there. Look at that. That's at least got to be two kilometers distance. Yeah, it's... I don't know if the uh, rangefinder will go out to that distance. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, boy. Or not. That was a flock bus. Hooray! That went about as well as I thought it would. Ah, Muzdok. Uh, much, much better. Although, I can't say I'm too, still too thrilled about taking on this map. But let's see how this goes. Hopefully this game isn't as disastrous as that last one. I mean, I had a feeling once I was on Sinai, that, uh, that wasn't going to go well. You're better off probably turning your turret to the side, kind of like a mouse after every time you fire. And that was why. I can, I'm pretty sure I can take his gun from this angle. It's just shots going through the front of my turrets. Well. All right, this is what the shrapnel shells are for. Or not. There we go. All right. Hey, okay. Well, my first kill, Type 94 Flak Trek. Hooray. I've done something. <laughs> Maybe I'm just overreacting. Uh, again, I've only played two games, and and both of them were disasters. But I just don't feel that this tank is flexible enough. Um, I mean, it's a Matilda. What's up there? Oh, actually hit something. It might actually be worth switching to another shell. Oh, okay, never mind. Problem solved. All right. Damn. I only hit his radiator. As a result, my shooting isn't particularly great. Oh, crap. Oh. Rest in peace, Locus. And yes, I'm heading for their spawn, because that's probably about the best place I'm going to be able to find enemy tanks to actually kill. So far, definitely not a fan. 
and that looks like an M3 Stewart. And there's is there something else? I didn't think I didn't think I saw it. Oh yeah, there is. Hi there. Okay, so there's definitely a 50 caliber something or whatever shooting at me. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, he's definitely hurting. He's dead. And he's dead. I mean, you see, if you're, if you're going up against vehicles like that, anything that's not doesn't have, like, a 75mm gun, they're really going to struggle, struggle against this thing. Especially at, ran at the kind of ranges that they were at, but... Granted, these guys are probably have probably only been playing the game for a short period of time. If you put somebody who's a decently, even a half a decent skilled player up against this thing, they'll probably easily kill you. Is that? No, oh, he's alive. Hi. Those bush draw distances, man. Now, before you say I'm playing on low-quality settings, I'm playing on high. Not the maximum, because the recordings are a little bit... Eh. Damn it. Oh, I got a kill assist. Looks like the enemy is mostly like Stuarts and M8 Scots. Well, it looks like I've killed those three ta- or... Oh, wow, I got an ace? What the fuck? When, that, when the hell did that happen? Okay, well... There's an ace game, I guess. Let's see, who did I kill? Oh, hi. Come on, get the turret around. God damn it. Alright, we'll call that six kills. Totally six kills. Fuck you, game. <laughs> so overall, first impressions of the vehicle, it's not very good. Um, it's extremely situational. It's very slow. The armor is okay. Um, it can bounce. You can take a few hits. But what you're mainly relying on is the fact that nobody shoots you right here. As soon as they shoot you right here, even on a Sherman's 75mm gun. I mean, we're not talking anything crazy here. Uh, oh, the T-14 will do. It has the same shells. Even the M61 shot. That round will just go through the front of the turret on the, uh, on this vehicle like butter. Like, don't even bother shooting the hull. Just shoot it here. If you encounter one in the side, uh, the side armor can be a little bit eh, and then you got 70 millimeters on the side armor here, but most shells, even at, even at its same tier, will be able to do that. Like, I know that the German, uh, oops, that's the Americans. I know that the German... Long 75s have like 140 something, or 135. Yeah, they'll they'll punch right through this vehicle. This vehicle is the same battering, by the way, as the Panzer IV F2, 3.3, 3.3. And the Panzer IV F2 is a superior tank in pretty much every way. Yes, it doesn't have the thick the same thickness of armor, but the Matildas is. It's angled in some areas, but flat in most. Um, a Panzer IV F2 will still go right through your turret front if it hits you right here. And if he hits you dead center in the turret right here, then he's going to go right through no, pretty much no matter what. Uh, the only way I could see this thing protecting you is if they hit it at like a very, very steep angle. And even then, even at this angle, it's only 70 degrees. Or it's only 70 millimeters thick, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think this thing is worth it all that much it's not even that fun like the lvt uh that we got uh as part of the last chronicles event yeah it's not particularly practical but it's it's just a fun it's just a meme tank it's 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 just a fun little vehicle that you take or i, I well i say little but it's just a fun vehicle that you take out for every now and then and go blast some fools with it the matilda Unless it gets a significant battle rating downgrade, like this thing goes to like 2.0, which I doubt it will. 
Uh, this thing would be hilarious, a 2.0 battle rating. Could you imagine that? Uh, unless this thing becomes like a tier 1 uh, battle rating-esque type vehicle, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just, there's too many things going against it, and there's too few, uh, there, there's too few things that bring it up to par. The gun is nice, it's your standard ZIS-5, it says F96, but it's a ZIS-5, 76mm cannon. It's got all the ammunition that you would want for like a KV or something like that, but as a practical vehicle, nah. As a collector's item, it's kind of cool. Uh, Matilda with, seven, with Soviet 76mm gun, that's kind of interesting. But it's nothing crazy by any stretch of the imagination. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. This has been Many Miles Away. Keep your tracks checked, keep your bottles in place, keep around on the tube, and I will see you guys in the next video.